This is Wolfram Alpha by Wolfram Alpha LLC for Google Android. You can find this in the Play Store right now for $2.99. Now what makes Wolfram Alpha unique? Well, plenty of things. But the first thing you want to know or understand about Wolfram Alpha is that it uses a new way to get knowledge and answers without using a search engine or not without using utilization of searching the web. So basically what it does, uh, it takes dynamic computations based on a vast collection of, of data, algorithms, and methods, which are all built into the app. So this isn't taking anything from the web, rather it's taking it directly through Wolfram Alpha. So the app is very comprehensive, detailed, fast in its responses. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at it right now. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to notice is that if you go down here to the settings, you can see that there's various different settings options. You got add to favorites, favorites, history, share, examples, and more. So if you were to click on uh, more, you could click on about, and you'll get their whole about Wolfram Alpha right here. You can see it gives you an explanation of what Wolfram Alpha is, what it does, you know, you can see the components, you got linguistic analysis, you got curated data, dynamic computation, computation presentation, uh, you got the platforms right down here, and of course their various goals and aims. So let's go ahead and go back here. You can see right here there's also a video overview for those who want to check that out. All right, so if we were to go back and go back to the settings down here, you can see where it says examples. All right, now you can see with the various examples, basically the features that are built into the app and letting you know what it does. You got all the options right down here. Let's go ahead and start with mathematics, for example. So you can see there's elementary mathematics, right? So one something plus something else equals. So let's go ahead and actually test that out here. So if we were to just X that and click one or 289 times 900, and it's going to automatically give you the answer right up top, okay? Which is really interesting. If you click Go, it's going to give you the uh, various different inputs, results. You can see step-by-step -step solution. You can see the number line. You can see the number length. So where this really works in handy or comes in handy is let's say you have a child and you're teaching them mathematics. And rather than them trying to answer the question or answer the <clears throat> equation, you could give them the answer and then have them try to figure out how they came up with the answer. And you have you know, multiple different examples right down here. You can see it says possible intermediate steps and there's various different amounts of them. So in my opinion, it's a more analytical way to get your uh, child or a student to learn certain mathematics. All right, now if we were to go back to examples here, you can see statistics and data analysis. All right, so here's statistics and data analysis. You've got descriptive statistics. You know, calc it says calculate basic descriptive statistics for a data set. You've got statistical uh, inference here. So you can see sample size determination. I mean, you could just see how detailed their approach is here and what they're going with here. And it really, it, it assists in, in helping people not only learn certain things and come up with answers, but also become, you know, much more educated in the process. And that's what's really great about Wolfram Alpha. I mean, there's, it's not just math based. You can see right here, if I was to click right here, you got chemistry. So you got chemistry based, you can get information about a chem, uh, chemical element such as carbon, you can compare several elements, you got chemical compounds, uh, you can get information about a chemical compound. I mean the options are definitely endless here. And you got physics, astronomy, engineering, materials. Let's just go ahead and click on music, okay, for you music lovers out there. You can see music, you got music acts. It says get information about a music act, Pink Floyd, Green Day, Gladys Knight and the Pips. So let's go ahead and say uh, the Beatles. Okay, so the Beatles. Click go. You can see pulled up all this information about the Beatles. So you got input interpretation, Beatles Music Act, it shows you the image. All right. Uh, you got the uh, members. It's going to give you the dates of when they were members, how long they were members. This gives you so much comprehensive information. I mean, it even gives you a Wikipedia page uh, hits history right down here. So again, very detailed in its approach. Uh, definitely takes pop culture and creates a detailed experience, again, to create knowledge uh, within people who are utilizing the app. And this is where this differs from other search engines is that it really gives you the details. And look, there's even an education tab here for, again, for students or for parents who are looking to assist their children uh, in, in learning. You can go to education tab right here and you can see there's international education. You can get education statistics for a country. You've got universities, school districts, U.S. public schools. So uh, you can see one of the questions that it asks here. It says, how many kids are repeating primary school in Mexico. 
So it'll answer that for you comprehensively, detailed and accurately, which is why it's really a top-notch app because everything is so accurate. And that's what makes Wolfram Alpha one of the best apps in general uh, in the Android Google Play Store. And again, it's only $2.99. I think it's worth it for the knowledge that you're gaining through this app. For $2.99, it is worth it. You guys definitely need to check this out. Uh, again, you can see colors. It says get information about a color. So let's go test this out and click on Let's go ahead and type in purple. Right, so we went ahead and typed in purple, so now we're going to go ahead and wait till it uh, computes the color purple and gives us all the details in relation to that color. There you go. Assuming purple is a color, assuming basic purple, you got input interpretation, color switch, uh, you got nearest representations, you got you even got a, a chromatically diagram location uh, graph, basically nearest name HTML colors, you got nearest Pantone colors, you got everything here. I mean, you even got more options right down here. Now, if you go back to the menu down below, you can see that there's a sharing option. That's because you can actually share your different computations and, and anything else that you'd like to share through the app. You have different various sharing options. Now, the great thing about this is that third-party apps integrate into this. So it's not just basically what the OS is going to give you. You do get third-party integration, so you could share it anywhere you'd like, including your cloud, Dropbox, etc. And again, you can also favorite something, and you can see right there, it favorites, favorites it for you. If you go back, you can click on Add to Favorites and it's going to add that to the favorites. If you go to favorites, you can see that it's right there. So very convenient, very easy to use. And then it's going to connect back to the, the computation of purple. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that if you'd like. Everything is very comprehensive, easy to use. You could do a search from uh, clicking right there. You could search something, search history and favorites. Oh, you can see the various preferences here. You got send location data, you got location updates, use custom keyboard, preferred units, and result magnification. Now, if you don't want to use a custom keyboard, if you go back, it's going to allow you to use your Android keyboard. Okay, So that's good to know that you don't have to use the keyboard that they have, but the keyboard that they have is comprehensive, so you may want to look into continuing to use their keyboard because it has various different keys and symbols that you're going to probably need to utilize with this, with this app. Uh, again, very detailed experience, and that's what they're going for here. Wolfram Alpha LLC has created a fantastic app, and there's so many different options that we can go through, but I'll let you guys you know, figure this out or go through all of these features on your own by purchasing this app in the Google Play Store for $2.99. I suggest it. I recommend it. For $2.99, you need to look into Wolfram Alpha. It's for the Google Android platform. Check it out. It's in the Play Store right now. Thank you for watching. This was a review of Wolfram Alpha for Google Android.